Hola, hi, my name is Savannah and welcome, bienvenidos to Storytime. So, hoy, today, vamos a leer, we're going to read a book called Mango, Abuela and Me. So, Abuela in English means grandma. So, Mango, Abuela, Grandma and Me. So, this book is going to be a little bit longer than the ones I normally read. So, sit tight, relax, and let's go ahead and get started. So, Mango, Abuela and Me. She comes to us in winter, leaving behind her sunny house that rested between two sneaking rivers. And two in Spanish we know is dos. So dos sneaking rivers. Her old place was much too small for just one, or much too large for just one, mommy tells me, as we make room in my dresser for her clothes. And too far away for us to help, Poppy adds. Abuela, grandma, belongs with us now, Mia. But I still feel shy when I meet this far away grandmother. Pin, pan, boom! Papi unfolds Abuela's bed and slides it right next to mine. You will get to know each other, he says. But when I show Abuela my new book, my new libro, my new book, she can't understand the English words. We can only look at the pictures and watch Edmund race around this wheel. So here's Edmund, the little hamster. Then, just before we turn out the light, she pulls out two things tucked inside the satin pocket of her suitcase. I wonder what she's getting. A feather, una pluma, a feather, from a wild parrot that roosted in her mango trees in a Snapchat, un fotografía, of a young man with Papi's smile. Tu abuelo, she says. So abuelo means grandfather, where abuela means grandma. So tu abuelo, your grandpa, she says, climbing into bed. Snuggled in my pajamas, I smell flowers in her hair, sugar and cinnamon baked into her skin. That night, I dream of a red bird circling the sky. The rest of the winter, while mommy and papi are at work, abuela waits for me to get home from school, from escuela, from school. Then we bundle up in thick socks and handmade sweaters to walk to the park and toss bread to the sparrows. My Espanol is not good enough to tell her the things an abuela should know. Like how I am the very best in art and how I can run just as fast as the boys. And her English is too poquito, too little, to tell me all the stories I want to know about abuelo and the rivers that ran right outside their door. With our mouths as empty as our bread baskets, we walk back home and watch TV. Oh man! They're having trouble talking to each other because neither can speak the other language. I wonder what they're gonna do. Abuela and I can't understand each other, I whispered to mommy. Things will get better, mommy says. Remember how it was with Kim? Kim is my best friend at school, at Escuela. When she was new, our whole class helped teach her English words. Now, Miss Wilson, Wilson sometimes has to say, please be quiet, girls, others are working. So she, so her friend used to not understand English either, but they helped her and now she talks so much that the teacher has to tell her to be quiet. Maybe if she can help her friend, she can also help her abuela. After school the next day, while abuela and I are making meat pies for a snack, I pretend I am Miss Wilson. Do, I say pointing to the ball. Abuela says, do, masa, and rolls it flat. Masa, I say. She drops a spoonful of meat in place. Carne. Carne, I say. Meat. Pasas. Raisins. Aceite. Oil. <gasps> That's such a good way to learn. So they're learning each other's language. Then I remember the word cards we taped in our classroom to help Kim. So while Abuela fries our empanadas, I put up word cards too until everything is covered. Even Edmund. She even covered the hamster. Oh my goodness, look at him in his little ball. Soon we are playing Oye y Vi. Hear, Oye y Vi. Say, hear and say, all around the house. But that night, she still calls my pillow a palo and she still says Edmund is a gangster. I'll keep practicing, I whisper. So she's just having a little bit of pronunciation problems, but that's okay. But the next day, I cannot practice with Abuela after all. 
Edmund has run out of his favorite seeds, so Mommy and I have to ride the bus downtown to buy more. Sometimes there are kittens sleeping in the pet shop window, but when we arrive this time, something even better is behind the glass. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Look, Mira, I say. The window has become a jungle filled with birds, and right in the middle is a parrot staring at us with black bean eyes. I press my nose to the glass, thinking of the red feather Abuela gave me. Let's buy him, I tell Mommy. But Mia, you already have Edmund, Mommy says. Oh, not for me, I say. For Abuela, like the parrot that lived in her mango trees. He can keep her company when I'm at school, when I'm at Escuela. That's such a good idea. I bet Abuela gets a little lonely when no one's at the house. Having a bird is definitely going to make her happy. When we bring home, when we bring him home to Abuela, she says, oh, Un loro! A parrot! We name him Mango because his wings are green, orange, and gold, like the fruit. During the day, Abuela teaches him how to give beaky kisses and to bob his head when she sings Los Pollitos to him. Buenas tardes, Mango, Abuela says, opening his cage door when I get home from school. Good afternoon, I say, and give him a seed. Soon, Mango calls to me even before we open his cage. Buenas tardes, he says when I open the door. Good afternoon. So the parrot's learning to speak English and Spanish too. Abuela, Mango, and I practice new words every day. Mi Espanol gets faster and Abuela and Mango learn the days of the week, all the months of the year, and the names of coins. How did he learn all that? Papi asks when we show him all that Mango can do. Abuela winks at me and gives Mango a piece of banana, peel and all. Practice, she says. So all three of them are learning both languages. That's awesome. Before long, Abuela asks me how to say harder things too, so she can talk to the neighbors who stop by. Has the mailman come? It is chilly today, and can I get you some cookies and lemonade? So those are all things that Abuela wants to know. Soon when friends stop by to see Mango's latest tricks, they can understand everything Abuela says. <gasps> That's so exciting! But best of all, now when Abuela and I are lying next to each other in our beds, our mouths are full of things to say. I tell her about my buen dia, my good day, and show her my best pintura, my best painting of Mango. Abuela reads my favorite book with only a little help, and she tells me new stories about Abuelo, who could dive for river stones with a single breath and weave a roof out of palms. I draw pictures for her. She still misses their old house, she says, but now only a little bit. Oh, so she's getting used to everything now. She's starting to understand things more. Mango listens to us from his perch until my eyes grow heavy. Hasta mañana, abuela, I say. Abuela kisses me. Good night, Mia. Hasta mañana. Good night, Mango calls. And soon we all fall asleep. The end. Oh, so everyone started not being able to understand the other, but then with practice, they began to understand English and Spanish. That's pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the story and I will see you all next time. Adios!